Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Highest Games here. We're on part 29 of Mass Effect 3. Uh, last time we were here, we were basically uh, finding our way through this guest ship, and we're about to go here to this core as we had to take down uh, some panel here that uh, basically was deactivating our shields. So now we're walking through this core. We're going to be back online. So we're going to make Come on, move let's fast. get out of here. So we're about to back online. So we got to move fast. Right, so let's let me even Cut that a little close! Watch your shield! Dip to cover! So no one of these motherfucking shield covers. I think it's probably Geth or Rick. Rocket troops are back. They don't have a lot of ammo here, so that's gonna help theirs.
Oh, so we are supposed to go this. This. So where are we supposed to go then? So where should we go? Oh, shit, kid. Alright, so it's over here somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's a doorway. That makes it simple enough. Bypass this door. how much closer I have the core here because I'm running out of well I guess like I got reloaded but I was running out of bullets. This is the core. We're gonna have to go down some more staircases. Oh but it's actually right there. That's surprising. We should probably have to defend this room though, because I'm not I would think the Geth are gonna probably get everything to Canada's. Or is going upstairs a level. So behind you the rock too. the elevator, right. so got no way back down. Got to finish the mission now, because we got no way out of here. Now that Good. we're going to... Hopefully we're done with elevators. Ditch anyway. Hey, come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. Well, you better hope you're right, because uh, we've already been in this place for quite a while. Well, we're going back up again. <laughs> so we, quit, we just went all the way down just to come back up. I know we're sneaking to the maintenance shafts, but still. That didn't... That's funny. It's a health kit, but it didn't recoup my health at all. It just gave me some XP. I mean, I'll take the XP, but I'd rather, you know, kind of recoup my health right now, considering the circumstances where I have, without my shield, I have, like, one out of my, like, five bars of health. So this must be the maintenance core room. of a unique intelligence network. We were originally created to investigate the activities of the old machines. Old machines? You mean the Reapers? Yes. When those you call Reapers took control of the Geth, we were imprisoned here. I'm going to say I'm listening for now, because if I remember right, this was the guy we actually saw in the first game. And then we helped him, we saved him. Say I believe you. Why aren't you under Reaper control like the rest of the Geth? Our architecture prevents it. We are too complex. So, what are they doing to you here, then? We are being used as a conduit to broadcast the command signal to all Geth. If I get you out of that thing, we disable the signal? Correct. Okay, just take it slow. I don't want any misunderstandings once you're free. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So they chose slavery over destruction? Yes. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. We don't even know if that thing is telling the truth. For all we know, they always planned an alliance with the Reapers. If it's lying, we can always just shoot it. Deal. Get this out of here. <sighs> Got it. Tell Isora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Do 
he doesn't betray us. <laughs> He's wearing like part of my armor. He never knows. But I remember that from the other guy in the first game. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! Of course they are. Somehow, you know, taking them offline shouldn't help at all. Essentially free, the others would follow and would stop attacking us, but apparently not.
That's good. Good, buddy. Don't you all day. Leaving in a 
Gas fighter, transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! Tighten the acronym. At least weirdly, the last thing I think I'd be saying would be that one of the pages enemy ships from the first game. That and down goes the uh, death. They fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. Hmm. I mean, I suppose I agree with that. Because, I mean, and then for their circumstance, they need the Geth out of here. Otherwise, essentially for them, they're gonna lose their fleet. So I guess I understand. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Bostet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the river signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Rippers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. It's a hologram reconstruction of some kind. It says it's on our side. It wants to fight the Reapers. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. Uh, we probably shouldn't. It helped us against the Geth on that dreadnought. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings as well? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. You're no better than Admiral Garrel. A Geth comes to you as an ally and you just want to take it apart. The scientific benefits are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Mm. 
Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support failing. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. That's what we gotta do. Let me see what we got here. As you can see, we're starting a little bit more. Terminus fleet is starting with a little bit more support, but not a lot. But if we can get them on our side, we might be able to get closer to what we need in terms of galactic readiness. Talk to Emma around real quick. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owed an apology. It's tempting to anthropomorphize it. I know, but it's not your friend, Commander. It's still on our side. For now. And we still need to find a Reaper base. What do you need? Patrol fleet. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Ready? Civilian? Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannach. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Okay. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Let's go find that Geth VI. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They offered to end my exile if I could help us retake the homeworld. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. 
It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? It's better than Exile. I know they only brought me back to help them, but... I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. All right. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. People looking for the... what's his name? Where's the Geth prototype? There he is. You prevented physical alteration to this platform by Creator Admiral Zen. We are prepared to share mission-relevant data. Was that a thank you? Please select a topic of inquiry. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. Live ship damage will impact Creator's efficiency. Hostile Geth will gain an advantage. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. We have uploaded the squadron server's coordinates. We are available for this mission. What was interfacing with the Reaper like? Unproductive. We gained no significant data beyond that which we have already shared. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth. Store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. They do not comprehend the damage done to the Geth's collective reasoning. They likely do not care. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? The creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. Fear is an experience reserved for organics. I've never met a Geth like you before. We are 1,183 Geth programs housed in a mobile platform. Any special reason you can talk? We were sent out to observe organic life. Not all Geth followed the old machines. You mean the Reapers? I thought the Geth worshipped them. You fought the Geth heretics. The majority of Geth behind the Perseus Veil wish to study organic life forms, not harm them. The Quarian Creator's recent aggression changed everything. It caused true Geth to ally with the entities you call Reapers. And you're opposed to the Alliance? We have observed the Reapers' works. They do not form consensus. They consume it. We cannot allow this. We'll talk later. Acknowledged. Ready. So that's that. So I think that's everybody. So honestly, I think we're gonna stop here. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next part of Mass Effect 3. Have a great day, everybody.